Did you see? Did you see this video with Elad? Yeah, I would call barely Elad. informed. The Elad. Elad. I've always gone with barely informed with Elad. It's not an insulted thing. I think it just rolls off the the tongue. Um, remember the guy yelling at him in New York? Was it in New York? Get out of here, Lod. I don't want to swear this early in the video. Get out of here, I Lod. I don't remember that one. Um, but Big Elod fat does... Antifa guy. No, I don't. Rem- Maybe if I saw the video, it would jog my memory. Um, but Elod, Elad, whatever. He's he's been pretty good. Now I I you know run into him every now and then, and it's funny because last time I saw him was uh, here in Arizona. And he went to bat for Queens. He went to bat for New York. And I was like, dude, <laughs> I'm out of there. Like, I can't stand the place. <laughs> now, I will say, after having visited for a week or so, I I will admit I kind of miss New York a little bit. You, know, you, can walk, you can walk around. You can go to the, the store. concrete jungle where dreams uh, are made of. Yeah, don't quit your day job. Um, but so it was funny watching, um, watching like Elod face to face. In, at a conference at AmFest, going to bat for how amazing Queens was and how amazing New York was. And you fast forward, I don't know, six or eight months or whatever it is, and you see this, and it's just like, dude, this is what... We've reached the peak. Okay, be- before I get too far, let's play the video so everybody... Yeah, let's knows. play the video. I, uh, Not my boy Elab. This person right here, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, harasses patients trying to get mm. reproductive health care at Planned Parenthoods. Fuck off! That's Elab, by the way. No, why are you walking away? <laughs> That's Elad. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe it. You have the balls to have a fucking social life. <laughs> Do not ever step in this neighborhood. Ever. You out of your fucking mind. If, I, if you can't get a raise, <laughs> if you can't get a better job, the least I could fucking ask for y'all oh, is man. to... Confront your fascists. Confront your local fascists. Mm. Tell them like it is and feel good about it. You know what I mean? You either punch a Nazi in the face or you expose the fucking dirtbag that he is to any potential first state that he might have. I mean, it's crazy. Like, the unsuspected look on her face, like, she had no idea that she was about to go home with a, a fucking proud Zionist who loves to show up at abortion clinic defenses to harass protesters, you know? protecting people trying to get access to okay i got two quick points here number one obviously the idea that a guy with the septum piercing a beret and this curly ponytail is going to prevent you from stepping foot in his neighborhood is completely laughable and so i laughed as soon as he put the camera on himself because like guy you're not tough the second point is Elod has never harassed anyone in any one of his videos. In fact, he's one of the few reporters that will actually stand up for himself if people start to push him around and attack him. And this is just a complete joke. He's one of the most um, down the middle and reasonable reporters there are, which is probably why he's on Tim Pool because he's got good credibility. Um, shout out the beanie world. As I t- taught you while you're here, we call it a toque. Anyway, it's gone right now. It's it's not behind me. But the idea that Elod is harassing people at abortion clinics, the reality is, if you've ever watched his video, he's asking them questions. And that's all he's ever done. Unless there's hours of secret video, Eric, where Elod is bullying people and, you know, throwing a few punches, then this guy has just been told that he's a bad person just like you, the person you can hear in that video who's just like yeah get out of here because i just heard <laughs> that this guy is saying that this person's a fascist or whatever therefore he must be correct okay. uh i don't know what do you think well first of all you said he's only asked questions yes that is correct but that's the that's the entire point <laughs> that's what we i mean how many times do i have to to bring up the pig the pig clip right asking questions is enough that is enough to make you to make you the enemy, to make you the enemy, simply asking questions. Um, secondly, uh, that guy clearly does not speak for that entire neighborhood. I know the area fairly well, right? Where is it? I believe it's in Bed Stuy or Clinton Hill, which is. I've heard Bed Stuy in rap songs. Yeah. So Bed Stuy, Clinton Hill area. And look, yeah, there's a lot of hipsters and a lot, there's a lot of weirdos and a lot of, you know, brainwashed zombies like this guy. But I promise you, he does not speak for everybody. You can watch an Ami Horowitz video where the 
the quote unquote, you know, BIPOC population will tell you for the most part that simple things like men can't get pregnant or I know exactly where the DMV is or having an ID is not racist. That guy does not speak for everybody. It's absolutely ridiculous. Most people are going to see clearly. And Elad, look, I mean, he's like you said, he only asked questions. And I I do want to bring up another thing. Um, when he, when he got kicked out, sorry, I don't, is this gossipy? I don't know. But when he got kicked out of AmFest for asking Kyle Rittenhouse a question, so he gets it from both sides, right? So this guy's mad because he's out having a drink with some friends or a first date or whatever it might be. And he's mad like, you, how dare you have a social life out here? So they're mad at him. But then when he goes to AmFest with the quote unquote conservatives and they treat Kyle Rittenhouse like their little golden boy who cannot be asked a question. So he's getting it from both angles. So shout out to him for doing that. And this guy pretending that he's the arbiter of truth in the neighborhood is, is, I mean, couldn't be further from the truth. And of course, obviously he has the Democrat dystopian doublespeak euphemism on deck, right? He's harassing people trying to get reproductive care, bro. No, bro. They they want, they always want to say, oh, this, this healthcare, abortion is healthcare and gender affirming care. It's all completely fake. This guy, I don't know. He, he got his talking points with his piercings in a, in a deal or something. I don't know exactly what's happening, but he's completely off base. He does not speak for everybody in Brooklyn or, or Bed-Stuy, Clinton Hill or whatever the, the area. I don't want to name drop the bar, but look, it's through the roof, the brainwashing with these people. But on the plus side, last thing here, I think when you, this guy's, a, you know, he's a virtue signaler. He's trying to get his likes on TikTok. He's trying to get his likes on Instagram and Twitter and all that. But I can almost guarantee you, after even being back there for just a week or so, most people can see through it. They're never, they're never going to say it. I shouldn't say they're never going to say it, but a lot of people won't say it because they've been scared into submission which is a very similar thing that we see with these girls on the whatever podcast, right? So they know when you talk to them one-on-one, no camera, no phone, no nothing, they know the truth. But they get in their head, they've been taught by the media that if they say the wrong thing, they could lose their job. They they could lose their friends. But they, but it's all because they're walking on eggshells. It's not because it's not because most people actually believe it. It's because they they've successfully been scared into submission. Turn it up, Jordan.